Welcome guys. Let's start with the service registration first. If you have seen my videos related to the microservices, you already know what the service registry is. If you haven't seen it or if you don't know, I would recommend you to watch the videos for better understanding. So let's get started. You already know the service registry we can register our services by two types. We can implement our logic or we can use the third party libraries. I'll be using console, the third party library for registering my services. We'll be starting with the product API first. Let's install the console nugget package. So I'll go to the nugget. Uh, you can also follow the same thing. So I'll search here console. You can see it. I get the console here. So there are you know other libraries as well, but you just Select this one console and install it. I want to install in the order and the product API. All the package are successfully installed. You can see it here if I go to the project file. So package dot reference, it has the console and the version. Okay, so we have already created, we have already installed the console. Let's Create another class that will register our service to the console. We'll call it console uh, registration service. Okay, I want to add it. Okay, so I will need the i hosted service. Okay, i hosted service it has two methods. They are the start async and the stop async. So, what is a i-hosted service? It's an interface uh, that is being used for running the tasks in the background. So, we want to register our service in the start async. Okay. So, whatever the task that we implement here in the start async, they'll be started in the background. And when we close the application it will be stopped so when i when i run this microservice the start async will be called and here we will write the logic to register the service when i you know stop the microservice then it will come here and here we will deregister it so you already know uh, the scale scale up options uh, when we deploy our application or the microservice to the uh, azure or any cloud infrastructure if we have opted for the option of scale up, whenever the traffic increases, it will scale up. Scale up means it will create more instances. So when it will create more instances, it will start all the instances again, right? So whenever the new instances will be started, again, this start async will be called. So here we will have the logic where multiple, you know, uh, registrations would be done for each, each of the instances. To the console so this is how it's going to work let's delete this one so we need uh, the console client interface we have that is being used for registration and the deregistration so i'll use a uh, private read only i console okay i'm getting it client okay client I'm using this one let's copy paste it here so the console client is equal to console client okay this is fine we also need the service ID I could have created the service ID here but we need to deregister it whenever we stop the application or stop the API so I'm creating a variable private string let's call it a service id i'll sign it string dot empty okay for registering our service to the console we need the configuration we have to provide the service name we have to provide the host and the port of our application you see here the properties folder you can see the launch setting 
and you can see the application URL here. This is where our service would be running and this is the port here. Okay, so this is what we have to do it. This is what we have to add in the configuration. We can do it. Uh, we can start adding in the uh, development configuration. I think I have already set the environment variable uh, to development. So let's add the configuration. Let's call it a service configuration. And so we will add the URL or the host here. I'll call it a host. Okay. So it will be running on a localhost. We can also add the port here. So the port would be double four three two zero okay and you can add this service name as well service name is actually how the um, you know uh, gateway or whosoever is uh, using the console for the service discovery how would they get the service there could be a number of services like we have order api product api shipping customer so they all are registered with the console so how would you know uh, the, the discovery would happen that we want to see the instances related to the order api so we'll have the service name here we will search it using the service name so the service name could be order sorry order service okay so this is the configuration that we need for the registration so now we will read the service name and the all the configuration from the uh, app setting.json file we need the i configuration interface here that will read the data from the configuration let's create another variable let's call it i configuration let's call it configuration and we pass the variable we will initialize it by passing the configuration that we have got in the constructor let's read the configuration now so i'll use the configuration dot get value and we can pass the type of the value here as well so our uh, configuration is called service configuration dot service name okay. so i've got the service let's get the host i'll copy this one let's get the port as well let's create the service id so we have the service id here so we can use the formatter we can pass the service name okay let's call it a service name okay then we can use the uh, we, you can uh, you know assign the one two or three it's up to you but uh, i'll be using the uid like this so our service this service whenever it's up it will have the service id as service name and then uid okay now we have the information let's register this one it's called agent registration okay so we have a couple of properties that needs to be filled Oops, sorry okay so we can let's add the id so it's a service id let's add a name it's going to be the service name let's add a port the port we have okay it should be a number so we can convert this into integer
let's add the address here the address is the host and we have the tags as well tags it's a list of string you can see here so we can create a tag list okay so we can pass the tags here i'm just passing a service name and we can assign the tag list here so the class is done then we'll have to make this a thing because the method we are going to call right now the service register it it's a async method so this is how we can do that we can pass the cancellation token so this is how we can register it whenever our application is up it will call this start async method and the service would be registered with the id and the port number that we have mentioned here let's write the code for t register as well service t register we'll have to pass the id here you can see the id service id is a string type so we already have the service id that's why we made a global variable so that's all for the uh, service registration now we'll have to call this method uh, in the program.cs file let's do that let's pass the dependency here services dot add singleton because we have to run only once i hosted service and who is the implementation of this i hosted service is the console registration service so now we have registered our microservice with the console but we'll also have to mention the uh, you know where the console would be running so we can add that information uh, in the configuration as well so let's call it a console config ration so we just have to mention the address of the console so the console would be running on localhost okay and the by default port is 8500 so this is the information that we need so once we you know create so after this singleton we have to let's read the uh, console host right console host is equal to builder dot configuration dot get value we can get the value in the same way so we have a console configuration dot host i think it's that's the name console configuration dot host yes so we have had the configuration now we would assign or we would create a uh, registration for the console let's register it so we call the builder or services dot add single term so we have the i console client right so we are going to register this one you could have create a new class for this one or you can directly do this implementation so this console client we have here now we have the different properties inside the uh, console client class we can access them and this one as address is equal to the console new uri it's going to be a new uri if you see the address here uri type so this is the type of address uri so we'll have to pass uri and the uri needs a string to create the uri so this is the console host that's it let's run this one it's not able to read the value i think the console host is coming now uh, i think it's the same column here let me check it again if it works
missing service name console console request this is cancellation okay 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 i got it i think so here we are also we using the colon i think now it should work yeah it's working so we have a get app you can try it you can execute it and you can see we are getting the data and the status code is 200 you see our application host is uh, 5086 i think we mentioned something else here the development we mentioned this one why is that okay 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 so this is we mentioned this one uh, but the environment variable is set up for the development so this is going to be the url uh, sorry the port number 5086 so we have made a mistake in the configuration here it would be 5086 okay let me check the console i have the console running so i have already have this card service i was creating for something else this is the console instance i think i forgot to mention how you can run the console i'm running a console in a in a docker okay so you see here this is a docker i have the console okay it's running on 8500 okay and if you want to do that you can open a terminal and you can uh, run the command as uh, where is that yeah this one so this is docker run this is the command console dev it will be listening on 8500 okay this is the version that i'm using for the console so you hit and run it it will download the image and it will start uh, the console service once it is started you can access it here so this is the 8500 console address so this is where we would be registering our service once we run the service it would be available here but now i'm not able to see it okay so we haven't run it for the new port let's run it let's start it we can see that order service is up we have only one instance and this is the local host so this is how we can register the service so once i you know stop the service you see it has deregistered the service as well so this is how the registration works i'll follow the same for the order api so it would be the pretty much same only the service name would be different so i have uh, given the wrong name here as well this is the product service okay so i'll uh, have the same configuration in the order api where the service name would be order service so i'll not be making a video on that if you have any questions or queries related to the anything that you have seen so far you can post them in in the comments i'll try to answer as soon as possible i'll see you in the next video where we would be implementing the api gateway so thank you Bye-bye.